This video is about creating awareness on chlamydia and what you need to know about the infection. Chlamydia is a sex transmitted infection. This is caused by the bacteria Chlamydia trachomitis. The Chlamydia trachomitis bacteria is a gram-negative bacteria, ovoid in shape. This bacteria is an obligate intracellular bacterium, which means it requires a host, in this case a human host, to survive and multiply. It is a non-motile and non-spore-forming bacteria. Chlamydia trachomitis can be separated into 18 different serovars. Serovars D to K are typically found in this sexually transmitted infection. This infection can affect anyone who engages in sexual intercourse. Men and women are equally affected. Sexually active young people are at a higher risk. Women younger than 25 years old and are sexually active are advised to take a chlamydia test. Most people who have chlamydia don't know it since often there are no symptoms. Women with symptoms may notice an abnormal vaginal discharge or a burning sensation when urinating. Symptoms in men can indicate a discharge from their penis, a burning sensation when urinating, or pain and swelling in one or both testicles, although this is less common. Chlamydia can be transmitted through sexual contact with the penis, vagina, mouth or anus of an infected partner, which accounts for the vast majority of cases. Our chlamydia can also be spread prenatally from an untreated mother to her baby during childbirth. According to the Health Prote Protection Surveillance Centre, there were 6,695 notifications of chlamydia among 15 to 24 year olds in Ireland in 2014. There are a number of diagnostic tests for chlamydia, including nucleic acid amplification tests, or NAATs, cell culture and others. NAATs are the most sensitive tests and can be performed on easily obtainable specimens such as vaginal swabs, either clinical or patient collected, or urine. Vaginal swabs are the optimal specimen to screen for chlamydia. Urine is the specimen of choice for men and is an effective alternative specimen type for women. Patients may prefer self-collected vaginal swabs or urine-based screening to the more invasive endocervical or urethral swab specimens. Chlamydia can be easily cured with antibiotics. Persons with chlamydia should abstain from sexual activity on compliments until completion of a seven-day course of antibiotics to prevent spreading the infection to partners. Although medication will cure the infection, it will not repair any permanent damage done by the disease. Repeat infection with chlamydia is common. Having multiple chlamydia infections increases a woman's risks of serious reproductive health complications, including pelvic inflammatory disease and ectopic pregnancy. Infants infected with chlamydia may develop Ophthalmia neonatorium and or pneumonia. Chlamydia in chlamydial infections in infants can be treated with antibiotics. Having chlamydia or having been treated for it in the past provides no immunity against reinfection in the future. The complications associated with this infection include Pelvic inflammatory disease, which is infection of the uterus and fallopian tubes. This can cause damage to the uterus, fallopian tubes and cervix. Another complication can arise at the time of birth. Chlamydia can be passed on to the baby as it passes through the birth canal. This can cause a severe eye infection in the baby or even pneumonia. On the other hand, women can also be left infertile after acquiring this infection, even those with no symptoms. In men, it can lead to epi epididymis, which is inflammation in the tubes beside each testicle. This causes pain and swelling for the man. Men can also acquire a prostate gland infection, which causes painful urination. Both men and women can acquire a case reactive arthritis. This affects the joints, urethra, and even the eyes. And last but not least, people with chlamydia have a higher risk of contracting other STIs. Abstinence is one way of preventing the spread of this infection. 
Safe sex practices, for example, the use of male or female condoms, will pr also prevent the spread of this infection.